where does this story begin? I'm not really sure I can answer that. My life is so full of twists and turns, trying to stay afloat. Beat down by every wave and swell that life threw my way. And that's just how life is, I guess. Alone. Out there. I had no one and needed no one. It was my story. And I was the writer. Until... Until... I forgot what I was even writing about. Come on, Asher. Let's go. So, how's your riding assignment going? Riding this one about a solo surfing trip in Mexico 20 some years ago. I got caught up in this crazy storm. It sounds like progress. Let's get inside. So what happened? What? In the storm. What happens in that story? I don't know. Something that's hard to explain. What are the other stories you're writing about? Come on. Uh, cigarette? Sure. You should quit. Those things will kill you. You can't write anything if you're dead. You're gonna sit there all, all day, like every day, watching that stupid game. It's not my game. fault we ain't got you no money. You don't even care. Shut it off and be responsible God, for Michelle, once. God, Michelle, would you shut up? We should talk about this. What? They're gonna shut off our electricity, Jeff. What do you want me to do about it? Well, maybe you should get another job. Yeah. Then you can sit around on your lazy butt all day doing your hair. I know. Why don't you file child support on a little blonde girl of yours? Are you saying you don't like my hair, baby? You know why I married you, baby? Because you're a real man. Right? Ow! Get off me, you jerk! And next thing you know, I'm on a nightmare of a binge. I almost died. But instead I ended up in a VA hospital. My choices controlled me. But forgiveness freed me. Hey! Hold up a minute. Yeah. Sorry, I just realized I never introduced myself. I'm Clay. You can call me Roy. I really liked what you said in there. Oh, well, thanks, I guess. Why are you here? Just to start over, I guess. How's that going for you? Good days, bad days. Addiction cost me almost everything. Almost? Family, friends. Only God was there at the end. 
The only one who stuck with me through the puke and piss and pain. Only reason I'm still here. Wow. What are you running from, Clay? Good coffee, Mr. Bauer? Two sugars. Black. Good man. Oh, and David Walker called about the rental contracts? Did you send those off? Well, accounting said that we're still waiting for escrow to confirm, so we can't really Don't do Don't worry about what accounting says. Just send off those contracts. Okay. Hey, Danny. Clay. How's it going? I'm very relaxed. Are you at the spa again? I have high stress levels thanks to your man, Rudolph. Randolph. Yeah, he's depositing 12 million on Monday as planned. It isn't there until it's there. Come on, Danny. He's good for it. I'm betting the farm on it. You're betting my farm on it. Relax. You're gonna make enough money on this film to buy all the farms you want. Hey, try and have some fun this weekend. And remember, your stress levels. Try and get Randolph on the phone. I haven't been able to reach him all day, but just keep that between the two of us. Okay, check it out. It's 1600 an ounce. Since Martina's your lady, you're familiar now. I'll give you three Great. for 14. I'll sell most of this and then I'll get with you. At this price, I could probably move a couple kilos for you. Orale, let's do it, man. What's that? What were you thinking? Look, I've got it handled. You were in a house with six kilos of cocaine. We're about to close escrow and start shooting. It'll be okay. Besides, my lawyer says we can get the probation dropped after one year, if I stay out of trouble. Small chance of that. I'm giving you one last chance. Now get back to work and get out of here. Go on, I don't even want to see you. Danny, it's 6 a.m. First call's not till 8. Hello, uh, may I speak with uh, Mr. Bauer, please? Who is this? I'm the editor of the Neue Zeitung, the international newspaper in Zurich. Yes? You are currently producing a film with Danny Key. On Tyndall Saxton, he is your uh, financier? Yes. I bet you did not know that his uh, real name is Joachim Schmidt. He is the most wanted man in all of Switzerland. And he was uh, arrested on your film, which uh, now I'm afraid is uh, an asset of the Swiss government. Mm. I like your dog. Uh, yeah, this is Asher. He goes with me everywhere. So I don't have a sponsor yet? And they said I need to have one to keep coming back. Well, I meet with Richard once a week, and we... Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah? Sure. Hey, you want to go get some coffee? I love coffee. Now? Well, yeah. <sighs> you know that place? They have baked goods. You know what place I'm talking about downtown. There's lots of sweet stuff. They make the best cakes yeah. there. They got Sh coffee. Sure. How about, uh... Yeah, Tuesday, 3.30. You be there. Sure. You know what I have in my hand here? It's a 30 days to pay or quit. No! You know what that means, no. don't you? You got 30 days in full no. or you're out. Jeff just started his new job this week. You know what? Even that, it's just a partial paycheck. It's not my problem. Please. I want to hear it. We're trying our best. You got 30 days. Who is that, Mommy? Oh, shut up and let me think.
I'm the one that caught the fish. All right. Oh look, a letter from the government. Dear Mr. Bauer, you are alleged to be the natural father of Sophie Underwood under the authority of the state of Utah. Hello? Mm. Hey, yeah, he just woke up. Mm. It's James from the bar. Mm. Hey, James. What's up? Please tell me that's not the girl from last night. What do you care? Her husband is here. She's married? Yep, and he's got killing in his eyes. Are you kidding me? Uh, hey, uh, I gotta get going. Oh, um, what? Playing hard to get? I no, like that. Mm, gotta go. I gotta, I gotta wash up first. Want some company? Nope, sorry. It's 4.15 p.m. What? Coffee. Coffee? Sure, I'd love some. Yeah, there's still some left over. Did you walk here? Sure did. You were late. Oh, sorry. What's wrong, Clay? Nothing. That's not what Asher says. Just kidding. I don't speak dog. <laughs> well, I guess. It says I'm a dad. What? I wouldn't make a good dad. I'm a broke filmmaker. Heck, I can barely even afford to feed Asher, let alone a little girl. It's a girl? Yeah. This isn't about you. This is about her. Being a good dad doesn't have anything to do with what kind of clothes you wear, what your job is. Being a good dad is about you choosing to love her more than comfort, more than your own fears, than your dreams. Loving her is the most important choice you will ever make. And maybe the only thing that can save her and you. Save her. Listen, can we talk about this another time? Just don't wait too long. Don't wait too long, Clay.
Hi. Hi. Are you Sophie? Oh, uh, this is Asher. And, uh, this is for you. Or you can do that. Clay. Hey. Hey. Sophie, this is your father. And this is Cindy and Peter. Well, it's a nice day. Come on, you guys. Let's let Sophie get to know her father. Oh, no. <sighs> hey, babe. What you doing home? I got fired. What's going on here? Who is this? This is Sophie's father. He came to see her. What's wrong with mailing your checks like everybody else? You know, child support isn't some open invitation to come on over whenever you want to. Kids! You get inside! Now! Will you take care of this guy for me? I'm gonna come see you again soon. I promise. Come on, Asher. I'm so sorry about your truck. Oh, don't worry about that. I'm Clay. <laughs> I'm Lisa. So work, what do you do? I'm in health and life insurance. Oh, so that's why you agreed to have lunch with me. You thought I'd make a good client. <laughs> you caught me. I just get cute guys to get into fender benders and take me out to lunch. Well, it's effective. So do you have any family here? My kids. Kids, huh? Yup. I've got two of them. A boy and a girl. And you? Uh, well, actually, I have a daughter I just found out about. Um, it's complicated. I can't see her without her mom's permission. Mom? Yes, Cody? May I please be excused? Looks like you still have some greens on your plate. Um... Good chicken. Alright, kids. You can be excused. An amazing mom. Thank you. I try. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. It's just been a long time since I've had a family-style dinner. I'm glad it finally worked out. If you want, 
Callie and I are going to make pizza on Sunday. Hmm. Are we going to Salt Lake on Saturday? Oh, okay. Thank you. Maybe next time. Yeah, sure. Look, if you're not comfortable here, you don't have to stay. No, no, it's, it's great here. Everything's just so perfect. But all I can think about is my little girl living in a different world. Not having any of this nice stuff. Just one mess after another. I'm sorry. I don't mean to weigh you down with all this baggage. No. It's fine. No. Really. I'm sorry. Hey. I'm here. And I want to be here. Come on, Sophie! Give it a try! Uh. <laughs> 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 you do your own stunts? Kids! Inside! Do you need any help? We're fine. What are you doing with this guy? Listen, you're sweet. But I know what I'm doing. You wanna stay for lunch? No, I got plans later. Sophie, come on. Put your new bike away. Here we go. All right, I'll stop trying to give you hugs. Can we at least shake hands? There we go. All right. Hey, say goodbye to Asher. Bye, Asher. Bye, sweetie. See you soon. Bye. Why did Sophie get a new bike and I didn't? Sophie's father's just trying to buy her affection. Gifts like that never last. My bike got stolen. You let it get stolen. I bet. With your dad's new job, he'll be able to buy us all some nice new things. I'm all done. Finish your food. You heard your mom. Finish your food. Now! Jeff, go cool down.
I'll be ready in a minute. Wow. I hope you're hungry. Our reservation is for 5.30. All right, let me get my lipstick and eyeliner on. I'll be right there. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> We need your help. Things got out of control, and I've got the kids, and we're at the diner in the West Valley. What's wrong? Michelle, how's it taste? What are you doing here? I, I'm so sorry. I got out of control. That's right. I'm gonna make sure everything's cool and that you don't hit her anymore, right? I'm so sorry, Michelle. I messed up. Can you give me one more chance? I'll do whatever you want. You promise? What's going on? You called him? What are you doing here, Jeff? You yeah. need to leave now. Oh yeah? Are you gonna make me? It's okay. No, it's not okay. Look at her face. We had a little misunderstanding. It's all better now. So beat it. That's a little misunderstanding. Thanks for breakfast, Clay. We'll do this again another time. You expect me to let you leave with him? Let my daughter leave with him? This has nothing to do with you. You don't got no right telling anybody in here what to do. Daddy? Sophie! Come on, kids. I'll call you later. This isn't gonna get better, Michelle. It's time to leave, pal. Now's a good time. Oh, you don't, you don't mind if I, you know, would you like some coffee with that? Oh, yeah, yeah. There's some new dust on your truck out there. Yeah, I just got back from Salt Lake. How's Sophie? Good, I guess. The whole situation's just a mess. You know, I just have this sinking feeling that one of these days, they're gonna run. And I'm not gonna see Sophie again. Pretty bummer of an outlook on life. Well, life ain't always got happy endings. So you've been uh, staying sober? I've got something for you. Roy, answer my question. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. But that's not why you wanted to meet us. Oh really? You wanted to know how to be a good dad, right? From you? No, from him. Who are you trying to be like when you want to be a better dad for Sophie? I don't know. Well, like my father. Minus all the things he wasn't good at. You said it yourself, we... Well, no dad is perfect. But what if I told you, as dads, we act like pictures of something bigger than ourselves? Ah! What? I don't know what to do. Help me, please. What? I can't always just talk to you.
down there, and it seems like there's nothing I can do. You'll probably never get to see her long if you don't get serious and take some responsibility. Get a job. Pray for clarity. Pray for clarity? Hello? Clay Bauer. Back from the dead. Hey, Danny. How you doing? I didn't call for small talk. You need a job? How soon can you be in L.A.? Hello, daughter. Daddy. How you been? Good. This is our new house. Huh? Does your mom smoke? No, Ace does. Who? Me. Jeff's friend, right? Yeah, good memory. No thanks. I don't drink anymore. All right. Jeff just wasn't the man I needed. Rocky came in at the perfect time. Yeah, Jeff was a bad, mean daddy. Ace is a good daddy like you. Where's Peter and Cindy? They don't live with us anymore. Well, not right now. Anyway. You know, look, I understand that things were tense between you and Jeff, but just know you can come visit Sophie anytime. Thanks. But don't mess with what's mine. Hello? No, don't, don't touch anything. I'll be down there in a minute. What's the matter? I gotta go to the shop. Bye, sweetie. Goodbye, Daddy. Hmm. You clean up good? Yeah, I've got a job in LA I gotta get to. It's cute. Seen you all cleaned up. Listen, I want to talk to you about Sophie's name. What, you don't like her name now? Her last name. I think it should be Bauer. Sure, Clay. Go for it. But don't think that makes you her daddy. You push too far, I'll make sure you never see her again. Give me a break. You don't think that I can change, now do you? I don't think you'll ever change. You're impossible! Oh, Stan. Oh, um, uh, crap. Cut! Cut! Lily! Her name is Lily! Okay, everyone, let's go. What's wrong with you? Where do you go to acting school? Actors of idiots? Do you even know anything here? You're costing a studio a lot of money. You're hey, buddy. Me money. Yeah. Get your 66 out, out there. Get out of my face. 65, actually. Hmm. She for sale? Oh, not a chance. I'll give you seven grand right now. Nah, I think she's worth more than that. I'll give you cash, man, right now. No thanks. Okay. If you ever Clay are interested in selling her, here's my card. All right.
That guy can't act his way out of a paper bag. I know. I've been watching. I need him replaced today. All right. Now. All right. Well, let's break for lunch now. And I'll go get you your newsstand. That's what I like to hear. All right. We're going to break for lunch. Hey, baby girl. What's up? Ace says it's okay if you come to my party today. Your birthday's next week, right? No, my party's today. Oh, shoot, honey. I'm not gonna... Sweetheart, I'm at work far away, and I can't make it. We'll just celebrate your birthday next week when I get there, okay? Oh, okay. Bye. See? Him. But he's on set with... No, not anymore. I've already talked with that producer, and he owes me a favor. Well, you certainly still know how to get what you want. I gotta take this. Hello? Yeah, this is him. Wait, what? Are you okay? You missed my party. Sorry. What happened? I got hit by some jerk in a truck. Flipped us a few times. Hey, keep it down. What took you so long? I drove as fast as I could, sweetheart. You should get a helicopter. I got to ride in one after the wreck. It was awesome. <laughs> it's a good idea. I'll work on it. Well, you're a whole lot better than a frog. Hey, Doc. Yes. I'm Sophie's biological father. Is there anything you can tell me? What do you mean? I only hear one side of the conversation. I just want to know the truth. There's bruising that I can't account for. Okay. I've seen children in family situations like this and a lot of so-called convenient accidents. So what are you saying? If she was my daughter, I wouldn't let her out of my sight. Daughter's malnourished and homeless again. I tried to be something I'm not. No, I'll never see Sophie again. I'm proud of you, Papa Bear. Roy, she's gone. I'm done. I don't think so. You're still breathing, aren't you? They'll show up again, they always do. Then you gotta snatch her out. Snatch her up, get her out of that mess. Stop. What are you so scared of, Clay? Just stop, Roy. What's keeping you from taking that next step? Roy, stop. You know, I don't see you doing anything to fix up your life. So who are you to give me advice? Roy, I'm sorry. No. You're right. 
can't save her. God can. He saved you so that you can save her. Try to pray. Try to read the Bible. Until you can be real with God, you're not going to get anywhere. You've been breathing too much of that L.A. smog. Let's go get some altitude. Ugh. Feels like the higher up you get, the smaller your problems seem. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. Sure is nice up here. Well, I'm gonna turn in right here. Well, I'll stay up and find the fire for a bit. If you're this God of love and mercy, then how come my little girl is suffering? Where are you? What do you want from me? Then I baptize you. Clay Bauer, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, He raises you to new life. Stop looking out the window. I'm your real daddy, Sophie. He's never coming back. We'll see. Mr. Bauer? Yes? Hi, my name is Cassidy. I'm Mrs. Morris's assistant. She can see you now. Okay, thank you. And now, I don't know where they are, or if she's even okay. That's quite a story. Yeah, I know. I'm going to have to ask you a few questions. Do you own your home? No, I rent. Are you married? No. Ever file for bankruptcy? No. Do you have any children other than Sophie? No.
Look, I know I'm not the best of guys, but I love my daughter. I believe you, Clay, and I'm willing to take your case. Our firm requires a deposit of $7,000. One more question, Mr. Bauer. Have you ever been convicted of a felony? Mr. Bauer? Uh, deposit check. Is that going to be a problem? What now, God? Well, where in the world did you get that? You want valet parking too? What, you jealous? Come on. Now run down to the set and make sure everything's in order. You got any kids? What? I don't know, it's just something that's never come up between us before. I was curious. I don't like to mix work with family, but yeah, sure, I got a few. They live with their mother, it's better that way. Do you get to spend much time with them? Listen, I didn't get to where I am by becoming a good family man. I got here by making a choice to do one thing good, and this is it. You're fooling yourself if you think you can be otherwise. This is Clay. Uh, Rocky's in jail. He beat me up. Is Sophie okay? We need help. Where are you? We're at a motel in St. George just off the interstate. Um, Did he hurt her, Michelle? Michelle? Room 103. Michelle! Hey, I just got a call from Michelle. She's at a motel in St. George. I guess Rocky beat her up. If they go off the grid again, there will be nothing that I can do. Okay. This may be our one and only shot, Clay. All right, Lord. Hi. 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 Daddy. Hi, honey. Oh, I missed you so much. What happened to the truck? Oh, that old thing. I needed a little change. Mommy said I can go with you for a few days. Really? Wow, that's great. Are you okay? He shouldn't have come. I thought you said he was in jail. He just got out two hours ago. Hey, Clay, old buddy. It's been a while. Is this your new ride? Hey, Rocky. What are you doing here? You're here to pick up my daughter for the weekend? Yeah, a wedding. Well, that's nice. No one told me about it. Well, I suppose if you quit changing your cell number. This weekend's not going to work. We have our own family plans. Sophie's going to be with her father this weekend, so she can be around a real man for a change. And who knows? Maybe I'll go too. Sophie, go with your father. You wanna see a real man, Michelle? No! No! Rocky! God, I told you to stay away from what's mine! No! She's mine! 
Come on, honey. We gotta go. Man, my dad gave me that knife. Michelle Howard? Yes? This is an emergency court order for the custody of Sophie Bauer, signed by a judge out of Salt Lake City. Sorry. No! This is a long trip. Are we really going to Aunt Susie's wedding? Yes, but not yet. They don't get married till later this summer. Then where are we going? Just try it. It looks funny. It's gluten free. Does gluten make stuff taste any better? Please, just taste it. She made it especially for you. Yuck! I don't like it. Hey, <laughs> where's your manners? I ate all my mom. I ate all mine too, Daddy. <laughs> that food was gross. I know, right? I love you, honey. Everything's gonna be alright. Get some rest. We have a big day tomorrow. Good night. Hey, um, we should pray. What? No, it's just talking to God. Okay. I'm not very good at it, but... They're gone. Thank you for bringing Sophie and I together. Thank you for having a plan and helping us out, even when... I doubted you. You're the best, Lord. Lead us home, and please, help us in court. Amen. Daddy? Yes? I love you. I love you too. I love you more. I'm glad you finally got to meet her. <laughs> She's just not used to that kind of food yet. It's not about the food. This whole lifestyle's new. Why didn't you call me last time you were in town? It was a weekend trip, and I had some things I needed to talk about with Roy. Really? You can confide in your... Whacked out drunk friend, not me. Roy's not a drunk. Look, I supported you on your move to LA and your constant on and off again stuff with, with Sophie. I need you to understand my position right now and where my life is going. And what does that life look like? Are you going to move back to LA? Maybe. See? You don't even have a plan. Your job is fixing problems of other people. But when it comes to your own problems... You're right. You're right, Lisa. I can't fix my problems. Truth is, I have no idea what I'm doing. And for the first time in my life, I'm okay with that. How can you be okay with that? I ran my life into the ground trying to fix myself by myself. I'm okay with not being in control because, uh, as corny as this may sound to you, I know God's in control. Oh, is that it? You found God now? No, he's been there all along. Now I know I have a father who paid it all to get me. 
And that's the kind of love I want to give Sophie. What now, Father? Did I do the right thing? There. Thank you. How do I look? You look like the president. Ha. Huh. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Be back soon. You got your books and your drawing stuff, and Ash will keep you company. I love you. I love you too. I love you more. Remember, Daddy, don't cry. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war fingers for battle. He is my steadfast love and fortress. He is my stronghold, my deliverer. He is my shield and the one in whom I take refuge. Mr. Bauer, Clay. I met her in Wyoming, in a bar. Michelle Howard? Well, her name wasn't Howard then. She was married to somebody else. So, when did Mrs. Howard inform you that she was married? She never did. I found out the next day from a friend. And were you aware that she had two children at that time? No. So, how did you find out about Sophie? I got a letter from the state of Utah saying that I had a little girl and that I owed child support. And what did you do after you received that letter? I drove seven hours from Bozeman to Salt Lake. First, I needed to know it was real. And if I had a daughter, I wanted to meet her. I saw the kind of world that they were living in. You're a pretty lucky girl to have a daddy like yours. He's a good daddy. I wish we all had good daddies. We all do. You've never been married, never raised children, you're currently unemployed, and you have an unstable history moving from state to state, which suggests that you are totally unpredictable. Objection, speculation. Can you honestly say that you are capable of raising a child? Well, it was sad more than anything. He tried so hard to turn her against us. And when I saw that he was having a negative effect on Sophie, I got worried. Mrs. Howard, have any of your husbands ever physically abused you or any of your children? Nothing worth mentioning. Nothing like what Clay Bauer would like you to believe. Thank you, Mrs. Howard. That is all. Your Honor, we wish to call the court guardian ad litem, Mr. Roberts, to the stand, please. The essence of my job is to investigate the living situation of the minor child. So please tell us the findings of the outcomes of your investigation. Objection. Your Honor, the respondent has not had the opportunity to read Mr. Roberts' report prior to this hearing. I'd suggest you request a copy next time. Please proceed, Mr. Roberts. The daily violence described to me by the minor child, Sophie Bauer, is the worst case I have seen in 15 years of serving no as a way. ad litem. No way! I'm a good mom! And you all have a problem with that? Mrs. Howard! He's a selfish liar! And he just wants to rip her away from me! 
Please continue, Mr. Roberts. Along with the findings of 14 domestic violence reports. 14? You only told me of three! Mr. Bauer, I will not have any more outbursts in this court. Now sit down before I find you in contempt. I believe that the minor child could suffer irreparable harm if she were to remain in her current situation with her mother. Look, I didn't mean for things to happen the way they did. But I just want what's best for Sophie. Really? And is that what you wanted for Martina? As we have heard from the Guardian ad litem, this case is about finding a solution for Sophie Bauer. The petitioner has suggested that Mrs. Howard is incapable of providing this level of security. However, what the Guardian ad litem failed to disclose is Mr. Bauer's past. Mr. Bauer, have you ever been arrested? Mr. Bauer. Mr. Bauer, have you ever been arrested? Yes. Yes, I have. You were arrested in California at the home of a Mexican drug dealer with six kilos of cocaine and $200,000 in cash. Your girlfriend at the time, Martina Hernandez, later died of a drug overdose and you were nowhere to be found, having fled to Wyoming where you seduced my client and this whole story began. Can you honestly say that you deserve to raise Sophie? No, I don't deserve Sophie. I won't deny it or try to make any excuses. I've made mistakes, and some pretty big ones. But one mistake I don't regret is Sophie. I know God's given me a second chance at life through her. One I don't deserve. And I'll continue to change. Because that's what a real father does. Gives his very best to his children. And that is what I'll give Sophie. story I didn't want to tell. Every mistake. Every choice. Every failure. I thought it was up to me. I thought it was about me. Until I met my daughter, and I realized I didn't know how to be a good father. And no matter what I tried, I couldn't fix it. But I've learned that life is about more than second chances alone. Through my story, I found the father's love, or he found me. This court finds that it is in the best interest of the minor child to remain in the petitioner's custody full time. Now I could start loving my daughter because I have been given a whole new life, a whole new hope, and a whole new purpose. I guess I just needed the help of a little girl. Now this is a story worth telling, worth living. The kind of story that changes more than just me.
brings life and hope. A love story wrapped up in a father's arms. Made the moon 